Welcome to Science Everyone. This is going to be our walkthrough video for the green circle section of Unit 1, which is Intro to Science. So let's quickly go through these assignments and I'll give you any information that you will need to know to be successful. So first of all, for Unit 1, our long-term learning target, I can use observations in the scientific method to provide evidence for a claim. So you're going to learn how we can support a claim that something is true using science. And in the green circle section, the goal is to complete an experiment by following the steps of the scientific method. So by the end of the green circle, you will have completed an experiment following the steps of the scientific method. So let's go through each task. Task one is creating a title page in a learning target sheet. You will need both of them. You will draw your title page. It needs to say scientific method and should have some sort of drawing and should be colored in if you have the ability to do so. And the learning target sheet was in the handout that I gave to you at the B or at the end of the second semester. It's the half sheets of paper and it was a very large handout for unit one. You should see that learning target page and you're going to tape that into your composition notebook. It needs to be a composition notebook. If you don't have a composition notebook, hold on to these papers until we come back after Martin Luther King Jr. Day and I will get you a composition notebook because we will be returning to hybrid learning at that point. So I will get you a composition notebook if you need one. Task two is a set of notes on the scientific method. Again, this sheet should be in that uh, packet that I got for you. If you've lost the sheet, you will need to write all of this in by hand. So rather than filling in the blank, you will still need to do the notes. You're just writing everything by hand. And then here is the video that you will watch to help fill in the notes for you. Don't just wait for me to write in the blank. I add lots of important information through me speaking. You need to listen to the entire video. It's very important that you get that information. Task three is an Ed Puzzle video on the scientific method. You can click on your class period link to access that assignment. And as you're watching, you're going to choose the best answer for each question that pops up. And then after that answer, it will tell you what the correct answer was. So I'll leave a note explaining what the correct answer was. Task four is conducting your experiment that we talked about for our learning target. You're going to be making two different paper airplanes and seeing how far they fly. To access that assignment, you're going to click the paper airplane experiment button right here. It will open up a Google Doc. So the first step is to fill out the next blank page of your composition notebook to look like mine. Again, if you don't have a composition notebook yet, you'll just fill this out on a standalone sheet of paper and we'll tape it in when you get back to school and I can give you a composition notebook. But these all do need to be organized in a notebook by the end of unit one. So you'll fill out to look exactly like this. Then you're going to fill in your hypothesis. You're going to fill in the blank. So I've included the start of a hypothesis, but I haven't filled in if you think it'll be the narrow wing or the wide winged airplane. You're going to grab two pieces of printer paper. You're going to click to watch how to fold each of the two airplanes. So this video will show you how to fold a dart. This video will show you how to make a Horton glider, which are the two types of airplanes we're going to use. You're going to fold each type. And then at home, you need to find whether it's going outside or in a hallway or some space that you have enough area to throw your airplane and you're just going to count how many paces it takes to go to where it lands. So once you throw it, you're going to walk to where it lands, counting your steps, and that'll tell you how far it flew. Um, obviously, since we're learning at home right now, you don't need to let me know before you go throw your airplanes and you don't need to make sure the hallway is clear from other students. So step six is going to be a little bit different for you guys since you're at home. You're going to throw the narrow winged airplane first, count how many steps. Record that information in your notebook, right? You have the distance traveled and paces, narrow winged, wide winged. You need to throw each airplane at least three times. So you know to need to throw each one three times and figure out based on the average there, which one's going the furthest. Then you're going to use your data to fill in the blanks on your conclusion. You'll notice the conclusion is also mostly filled in. You just need to fill in the blanks. And then a bonus question is, how could this experiment be improved? What's one way that we could maybe make it better. So try and come up with something for that. That is the paper airplane experiment. Ultimately, it all ends up in your notebook, but all the instructions are in this Google document. 
after that, you need to show me your science notebook pages. And in order to do that, you're going to open your Google Classroom assignment link for your class period. You're going to open up the Google Classroom assignment. And inside of this is a Google slide, just like we did for social studies, that tells you what you need. You need a picture of your title page. You must include that picture. You need a picture of the learning target sheet taped into your notebook. The only exception if you don't have a notebook yet, you can do a standalone picture, but it will get taped into a notebook when we return after Martin Luther King Jr. Day. You need a picture of your scientific method notes, again, taped into your notebook. It needs to be in your notebook, not just a standalone sheet, unless if you don't have a notebook. And then finally, the picture of your completed paper airplane experiment. Worth noting, read the instructions in Google Classroom. If you are missing any of the pictures, your score will be a zero. Three out of the four necessary pictures is a zero. To get a score, you need all four pictures. You're either going to get a four for this or a zero. Make sure you have everything that you need. After that, and you've uploaded all the pictures from your notebook, it's time to take the green circle level up quiz. This one's not differentiated for each class period. It's not actually held in Google Classroom. You're just going to click this link. You're going to take the quiz, and you need to take it until you get 100%. Again, I was pretty relaxed on this during social studies because this was whole process was new to you. If you do not score a 100%, your score will be a zero, and I will not grade anything after that. So if you got, say, get a 90% on this quiz, and then you complete all of blue square and all of black diamond, all of that work will be a zero because you did not show me you got 100% on the green circle task. You must get 100% on this quiz. You can take it as many times as you need to, but you need to get 100%. Once you've scored 100% and you're aware that you have, you can start the blue square section by clicking here. Thanks for watching. Hope we have a great semester.